Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Cohen and welcome to the Not So Legal Show where we talk about the law, life, and well, just other thoughts in general. Now, has anyone heard of a video game called Rape Lay? Now, I'm not talking about a new brand of Lay's potato chips, but instead I'm talking about a video game in Japan where apparently they like to create games that are degrading to women. Now, basically the point of the game is to figure out different ways to assault and rape women, and if you manage to pull that off, you win points for it. Now, I don't really get how people call that a game as I don't really see anything entertaining about it. Now, there isn't necessarily a legal issue with the creation of this game, but what if someone watching a game goes out, commits an assault against a woman, and the police find copies of the video game in the defendant's house? Now, I could easily see a civil lawsuit against the game creators with the argument that the game had something to do with the cause for the crime. Now, does anyone remember the Black Sabbath case where the parents of a young man who killed himself brought a case against the band claiming their song Suicide Solution was the cause of their son's death. Now, the court cleared Ozzy Osbourne in that case, but I could easily see this case going a different direction for maybe the game creators here. Now, apparently there are a ton of different games in Japan that promote this theme, and even though the game was taken off the shelf, thanks to the internet, everyone is downloading it anyway. So I just wish people would not be so fascinated by violence and instead could support a movement against games like these. Now, in other news, speaking of a game, for those of you who have not been following this case, Frank and Jamie McCourt, the co-owners of the Dodgers, are getting divorced. For those of you who are wondering maybe how much money is at stake, let's just say Jamie McCourt is asking for as much as $998,845 a month in temporary spousal support. Now, the McCourts were married for 30 years. 30 years! So to think after all that time they're fighting over seven houses, a baseball team, and who knows what else, including what Frank may have been doing on the side. So I'm going to keep following this case as it develops. Now in my final story, a former high school teacher was acquitted for five misdemeanor charges. Now I only bring this up because the teacher was criminally charged for basically failing to stop a dirty dance routine being performed by some students at the school. Now, is it just me, or aren't there other crimes out there the court should be focusing on? I mean, I do think teachers should be responsible and take action if they're seeing behavior that's violent or put someone in danger, but what's a little dirty dancing every now and then? Thanks for watching the Not So Legal Show, and always remember to honor your power. See you soon.